Hello, everybody. I just thought that I would come on and talk to you quickly. Happy Valentine's Day. This is one of my favorite holidays. Um, although this year it's a little different because we can't really do anything. Um, so I just, I'm just going to talk um, a little bit. I have a uh, talk to you guys about, um, I don't know if that just disconnected. Anyway, I have a sticky note with some things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. However, I wanted to show those of you that love beauty like I do, um, come in fresh face because I'm about to do a little facial routine. So you guys know I love this baby facial because it like burns the freaking top layer of your skin off and leaves you with this like amazing canvas of healthy skin and I've been getting a lot of um like mask knee and then um sometimes in part of my consulting role I have to wear goggles sometimes and they just rub my face here and it's causing a little bit of irritation and so then the next thing that I'm going to be trying out immediately after that mask is this deep hydration mask just because it's super, super dry. I'm going to show you what's going on because the reason why I like to escape the Midwest and do some of these consulting jobs are to get away from snow. Washington does get cold and it sometimes rarely will get snow, but most of the time it doesn't and except for now. It's been snowing a lot. Now, let's see if I can flip this. For those of you <laughs> that are used to real snow, like me in the Midwest, this is not a lot of snow, but it is a lot of snow for people that are not used to snow. So it's extremely frustrating to be in this situation when the whole point was to not be in snow. So, um,. Next thing, so yeah, I'm gonna do face mask. Greg got us mimosa fixing, so I'll be imbibing in some mimosas, which will promptly have me probably take a nap here soon. But, um, so if you guys have not been paying attention, I've been doing a series to kind of recalibrate us because there are some beautiful new faces here on Yashika's Intuition. Um, and I'm excited about that, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew what you were in for, and so. In the live that I did a couple days ago, I just spoke about how a lot of the things that you want to accomplish in life have to do with having some heart and mind coordination. And I actually did a whole video on the um, this new moon that we just had, and it's a powerful new moon for heart and mind coordination. So if you are trying to capitalize on this new moon, um, Chinese New Year Lunar in, New Year imprint. It is very positive for love and money and success and all of the things, um, but it does require a lot of personal improvement. And so, one of the first things that I wanted to recalibrate us around is our power to create things more easily for ourselves when we get into that heart and that mind coordination. So if you need a refresher on that, or if you're new and you didn't get to um, participate in that conversation, then I would go over to yashikasintuition.com forward slash blog, or go to the link in my bio because the blog is linked there and you can get caught up. I just have like little tiny stickies, just little ideas I get to share with you guys. All right. So then secondly, we went over the principles of personal mastery because I feel like when people initially meet me or see my work, they get inspired, but what they think they're going to get is like a tarot reader or an astrologer. Now, I don't quite use those names to describe me because I feel like tarot and astrology are tools that you use to and leverage to help you to become a better person. And the true reason and purpose for the business that I created many years ago and for the work that I do with my clients and for the message that you will see here on social media is that I'm more passionate about you living a life where you feel empowered and um, I want you to grow and I want you to be continuously evolving so that you level up and you become a better person. Each day is a little bit better than the previous day and you do that based on principles of purpose and having a vision for your life and um, 
just starting to develop the commitment and the discipline to know yourself and to forego immediate pleasure in order to get the things that you want. So that is the purpose of this channel. When you see tarot, when you see astrology, it's not because that is the um, embodiment of what I do. That is a part of what I do and what I teach other people to do to help them have information proactively so that they can make better life decisions and they have the world, you know, at their hands in order to live the life that they want. So just in case you're not used to somebody using astrology and tarot in that way, um, that second video was all about recalibration. Um, so I said that I would come back and I got my last little sticky note and talk to you guys about how, how you can start to live the life that I'm talking about, where you don't just see these people that learned a few months ago how to pull cards and their life is a mess and they're struggling because they don't live a life of mastery, but yet they're trying to teach you all of the things when they don't know or live all of the things. To me, that is super frustrating. If you truly want to live a quality life in all areas of life, the key is to become a quality human being. And so here I have is, um, is just some things that I want to share with you so that you can start to commit to becoming a quality person that lives a quality life in all areas of life. Once you start to know yourself and master yourself, you're going to find you make more money, opportunities open up to you. The relationships that you have um, are better. You just attract more quality in your life because you become attractive to those type of things. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Should have got my tripod. So anyway, so here we go. The first thing that you need to do, you want to start off with, if this way of life is new for you, is that you want to create a vision for yourself. A vision is what do you see your life looking like? It can be in six months. It could be in a year. It could be in five years. But you really have to know what you want. And when I say vision, vision goes a step further. And it's like, why do you want the thing that you say that you want? The reason why you really need to get calibrated around this idea is because emotionally 80% of the decisions that normal basic people make are built on emotions. So emotions can change um, day to day. You can go through ups and downs day to day or things can happen that discourage you and take you off of your game. But with your vision and um, your you know, this view of what it is that you want and why you want it, it starts to create this, this thing that you can aim for or focus on no matter what. So it gives you a sense of direction and it is your springboard upon which you set your goals. If you do not know what you want and you don't know why you want it, you're, you pretty much are setting empty goals. Maybe you're setting goals based off of what society says is successful or what people have conditioned you to believe is successful. Um, you chase these goals and you end up feeling empty and depleted because you get there and you find out that it's not what you wanted in the first place. Having a vision for your life and letting that be the springboard upon which you set your goals around is going to create it's going to help you create the life that you really want to live um, and you start to manifest things that are in alignment with what it is that you see for your life. All right. So second thing that you need to do is create a success routine in the personal mastery membership. They walk through all of these things that I'm talking about, but to set a success routine is going to be different for everybody else. If you are a beginner to this type of life, then what you may want to do is set up a morning routine that will create success, that will lead you towards success. And you could just Google, watch some YouTube videos, find somebody that you that has a routine that you can emulate consistency in order to get on track with that. Um, once you become more advanced, you're going to learn you don't necessarily have to do everything in the morning. But you do need to have some sort of success routine to center you and recalibrate you to what's important in your life. Again, your vision, um, your mission, your sense of direction upon which everything else that you will do in life springboards from. 
The third thing that you need to do is work on discipline and mindset. There is a free class um, via the link in my bio here on Instagram, or you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash links. Um, a five part class that will help you start to create a mindset around this um, new way of thinking, this new way of looking at spirituality plus personal development to help you create a mindset and a discipline for yourself. So like I said, once you you have this vision and life is giving you ups and downs, you know where you're headed, you have that focus and you are able to forgo immediate gratification, whether that be your bed that seems a little bit more cozy or um, bad relationships or circumstances and actually um, know that if it's not in alignment with what you want for your life, then it's not something that you're going to waste your time on. D that's discipline and just sticking with what it is that you know, because you know where you want to be and where you want to go, that type of thing. Um, and then lastly, is about developing organization and efficiency. That is my probably my last tool that I'll leave you with if you want to get started on having a quality quality life by becoming a quality person is learn organization and learn efficiency. It will improve your love life and it'll improve your regular life. Organization as a whole means that you are not wasting time. You are spending your most valuable, most precious resource, your time on things that you love and care about and things that are in alignment with that vision, right? So you end up living a more purpose-filled life, but also in love. A lot of people don't think about it that way, but even being organized as a person inherently improves your love life in a multitude of different ways. Uh, for one, you free up time, you're more focused, um, you are more mindful when you are with your lover. Oops, hold on. All right, so you are more focused and mindful when you are with your lover. So um, organization and efficiency are also very important. So let me just go through the steps again. If you want to start to live the life that you are going to hear me talk about time and time again, if you go to my blog, if you are um, someone that loves my message and you want it to be a part of your life to become a quality person and in turn attract quality results in your life, then create a vision, create a routine for success. Preferably if you are new to this, it should be a morning routine. Oh my God. Does anybody else have like these little tiny ears like me and nothing fits? Um, so let's start all over. You're going to create a vision. You're also going to create a set success routine, preferably a morning routine. If you are someone that is new to this way of life. So you start off your day doing something that's going to keep you calibrated toward what it is that you want for yourself. You also are going to create a better mindset and more discipline to um, have the wherewithal to stick to your vision and your goals when life is throwing you ups and downs and loops. And then you want to start to adopt some um, skills around organization and efficiency. And again, if you need help with this, the beginning thing that I would suggest is if you are new to my um, message is to go to the link in the bio and take that five part course because it's going to really help get you situated and calibrated to creating a good foundation for yourself. If you have any questions, you can always let me know. You can DM me, whatever. I am always available to help you on your journey and I will talk to you guys later.